Hello all. Uh, for the first time ever, uh, there's a graphical user interface installer for Arch Linux. Um, as you can see here, I have this uh, set to go in um, VirtualBox. It's Virch, or um, it's uh, Virch stands for uh, for users of Arch Linux. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to choose the 64-bit uh, install. So you boot this, and what it is is a uh, you'll see is a live uh, session. Okay, so uh, this would be uh, your live uh, session, and it's based on XFCE, and you have all the stuff you would need to uh, even just use this as a rescue to some capacity for certain things, including an, an Arch Linux install. You have uh, basic access to internet. Uh, you have e-links, which would be a uh, text-based, command-based uh, browser or Firefox. And just a bit of background. Uh, here's the home page. I'll put the, these in the description. And uh, what it's based on is Cinch, or uh, this project here, um, Syn Synarch Linux. Okay, and he's used the uh, an Arch Linux ISO. Uh, this, and combined with, I mentioned, XFCE4. You can download it from um, SourceForge right here. It's an ISO. It's, uh, as it says here, 667.9 megabytes. Uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, load this onto a USB uh, using a GUI or you have to use DD. I'm not really sure about yet, that yet, but uh, I'll check into that. So, um, here it is here, Furch <laughs> Installer. So we'll just double click that and uh, if you used a Ubuntu before, um, this will look a little, um, in, if you installed Ubuntu, I'm sorry, this will look familiar. You can exit, forget this, or you can use the command line, okay, or the graphical installer. So that's the one we're going to use. And you have uh, just the base, if you want to install just a uh, command line and decide what to desktop environment you want, but you have Cinnamon, Gnome, LXDE, OpenBox, and XFCE. We'll choose OpenBox for now, so just go forward. And uh, some options here, uncomplicated firewall, I'm going to turn that off. Printing support, you can have that, I'll just turn it off. Proprietary software, MP3 audio, flash, videos, etc. Just go forward. And now, <clears throat> if you only have one hard drive and uh, you don't really care about uh, the bootloader then just uh, erase this and install arch but I'm going to choose uh, the advanced because I want to mention a couple of things that uh, kind of got me uh, messed up a bit so right now we have uh, device SDA because we're just using virtual box we have to create a new partition table now you have to be careful with this right here uh, MBR master boot record or DOS or um, GPT um, I'm not sure if the installer downloads a different type of uh, uh, grub, uh, but uh, GPT does not support the legacy grub or the legacy BIOS. So if you have a non, uh, what's the UFI bootloader, um, stick with this, okay? Um, it's recommended you use this, but only if you're using uh, the EF, EUFI bootloader. So I'm just going to mention that and say use MS-DOS because it will download the legacy Grub bootloader. Now I'm not sure on a, on a actual install on this machine if it'll pick up what your BIOS is. So just press OK here. And we'll just add. And we'll just put uh, mount point as root. Okay, and it will format, and then we just click install now, and say okay. And choose your time zone. Uh, keyboard layout, make sure you get the correct one. And yes, okay. And pick a new username, uh, uh, VBox or whatever is a computer host name, anything you want. Mid. Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> one, two, three, automatically log in. This is just test, so no need to worry about much of this. And then forward, and then it, as I said, uh, for uh, users of Arch Linux. 
and it's just a basic billboard. And uh, I should mention to you that this is beta, and it's still in a beta stage. But uh, the l a couple of times I've installed it, it's ran uh, quite well. It does install quite a bit of uh, download, quite a bit of uh, packages that it may need. I'm not sure if you can uh, get rid of those. But uh, we'll just let this run, and uh, we'll be set to uh, reboot. It'll uh, prompt you to reboot if you wish. All right, so after uh, reboot, um, I realized uh, I installed uh, OpenBox, and there's not much to look at on the screen. So I just opened the Applications folder here, User Share Applications. Just get a look at what it's installed. Uh, probably most of this looks familiar, Firefox, G-Edit. This wouldn't be a default open box install, obviously. So that's a look at the graphical installer. Uh, I think I should have installed XFCE <laughs> to give you a better idea. All right, so thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.